more misery for Putin, Zelensky's heroes destroy elite T-72 tanks in a disastrous offensive, Ukrainian soldiers destroyed some of Russia's modernized T-72 B-3 tanks in Kherson. This development reflects the fact that Kiev seems to be focusing on challenging the enemy in the south after all eyes have been on the battle for the east for weeks, Russia has controlled large parts of Ukraine's south since the beginning of the war, including the entire Kherson region, whose capital of nearly 300. 000 people serves as a gateway to greater control over the area. Since late May, however, Ukrainian forces have reported counteroffensives against Moscow, and President Volodymyr Zelensky said last month his men were gradually liberating the region. On Friday morning, Ukraine's Southern Operations Command said the army had shot down two modernized T. 72 B-3 tanks and four units of armored vehicles on the southern front line in the past 24 hours, in addition, 35 soldiers were killed during the same period. The reported losses add to figures released last week that Vladimir Putin's army has lost some 35,000 soldiers, 1,500 tanks and 217 aircraft since the war began in late February. The data, provided by the Ukrainian Center for Strategic Communication and Information Security, which reports to the Ukrainian Ministry of Culture and Information Policy is currently the most accurate account of the state of Moscow's armed forces, however, the data on casualties and losses of material cannot be verified. According to the report released last Friday, other losses among Russian equipment include 3,645 armored protected vehicles, APVs, 75 artillery systems, 241 multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, and 2,560 vehicles. The Kremlin has only twice given an official number of soldiers killed, most recently on the 25th of March with 1,351, which experts said at the time was far too low. Kiev does not release such statistics for its own forces or equipment. Mr. Zelensky, however, said on the 1st of June that his army was losing up to 100 soldiers a day, while about 500 were being wounded. In an interview with the US television channel Newsmax, the president said, the situation is very difficult, we are losing 60 to 100 soldiers. A day as killed and about 500 as wounded. So we are holding our defenses, the Russian losses in Kherson, the first major city Putin's men took at the start of the invasion, came at a time of significant victory for Kiev as Moscow retreated from Snake Island, or Zminyi Island as it is known in Ukraine, the small promontory, which lies just 35 kilometers off the Ukrainian coast, was seized by Moscow on the first day of the conflict. After more than four months of repeated Ukrainian bombardments from the mainland, the Russians have now abandoned the strategically important Black Sea Island. The Kremlin said the withdrawal was a goodwill gesture to allow grain exports, the Ukrainian military called this claim a lie and described scenes of Russians fleeing the island in two speedboats after a barrage of Ukrainian artillery and rocket attacks.